Okay, this update's for July the 14th, 2014. Um, off of Route 95 today, and actually quite sad about that. Um, just what an incredible road, and just every day something new. Um, I know I said this in the first video that I made uh, going down 95, but you have to go and see this. Like if you're if you're anywhere in Utah, just go to 95. It's just it's incredible. All the national parks, all the just uh, BLM land, just it's amazing. It really is, and I have no better way to describe it. Like all the pictures I take, and I have a pretty good camera that I've brought on this trip, and I know I've mentioned that before. Um, and I try to take some decent pictures, but just nothing does justice, nothing at all. Um, Sometimes my own two eyes, I don't even think, do justice just to, like, be able to take in all this beauty. Um, yeah, so here we are in uh, Hanksville, Utah. And uh, it was just such a wonderful uh, feeling coming down, like, the last mile of 95. And I don't think you can see it from here. Well, maybe you can. But this little, there's 95 up there. This gas station with a sign talking about Stan's Burger Shack like just appearing out of nowhere <laughs> it was the most incredible feeling in the world just seeing that stumbling into a burger shack ordering the biggest thing on the menu and just a huge um apple pie uh shake was it a milkshake i don't know it was just it was good whatever it was i didn't really look at it too long because i kind of inhaled it um but just such a great feeling and tomorrow uh we're going to make our way to the town of caneville utah um, and then into Capitol Reef National Park the following day. So really looking forward to that. Looking forward to uh, more beauty here in, uh, well, coming into central Utah, I think. Um, but yeah, uh, what happened today? Anything really interesting on the road? Got up at about 5 a.m., um, did 19 miles here into town, got here nice and early, and so glad we did because it's like 103 degrees out today. Um, just avoiding that afternoon sun is just, I mean, yeah, we could probably walk through it, but it's just, wow. I mean, it hits you like, like a hair dryer on full blast. Just when the wind blows, it's just scorching. Um, even the lady at the post office, Jake went and picked up his new cart. So, uh, looks like it's in working order. We're going to wait for Melissa. She's going to drop down, uh, the Melissa from Height is going to bring the bulk of our gear here to the motel. So I just can't thank her enough for all she's done for us. Um, and yeah, uh, what else? Oh yeah, the lady at the post office was saying that it's actually been like kind of above average here. Um, usually the nights are pretty cool, but like every night we've been camping out here, we can't fall asleep until like 2, 3 a.m. Just because even when the sun goes down, it's still so hot. And it just, yeah, I, I don't, don't even use my sleeping bag. <laughs> I mean, it gets kind of cool at about 4 a.m., but then, like, right when the sun comes up, it's at its coolest, and then it's just a furnace again. <laughs> but, um, love Utah. And, um, let me think what else. I think that's all for the day. All right, update you to Caneville, update you on the way to Caneville tomorrow.